So yeah, we're, we're back. back. Hey, swingers! Recording dropped. I um, had to do. All you missed was Logan being Why like, "Why did it gotta oh, be black?" That they're... was a green bass. That thing was green. It wasn't even black. That's listen, racist. Listen, okay, here. This is my classification of critters. This is my critterpedia. Uh, it's your Pokedex. It, it really <laughs> that real fart. That, Funny every time. That was use. Logan. Logan farted. I don't um, like are we idea. qualifying farts now? Yeah, we absolutely rank farts based on quality. I, I was just going to say, I don't think they heard it at all. Oh, well, probably not, but we guys... We need a fart mic. <laughs> <laughs> Get the separate mic by our butts. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just put it into the tire swing itself. Yo, friends, that'd be so many farts. It'd be hilarious. Look at this beast that I caught one time with my little wooden fishing pole. It's in the museum. I can show it to you. I don't think that great white shark was all that great. Oh! Um, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> Logan was like, go catch that fish. So I did. And now he's doubting my animal classification system, which these are all, honest to God, animals. And I'm not saying the animal's not a real animal. I'm saying it was green, not black. Yeah, but compared to other bass. Okay, so here's the black bass. Sure looks green, doesn't it, swingers? Um... Oh, yeah. Well, is the yellow perch yellow? Not well, particularly. It's more yellow than the black bass was black. You gotta see the sea bass, though. You're a sea bass. Where is that motherfucking sea we're, bass? We're straying close to danger territory, the other swingers. Sea, or we're, other bass. we're dangerously close to what? We're, we're, we're straying too close to danger topic territories, I don't think. Seth, dong. Fish? Look, look at the sea bass, okay? Speaking of, Seth. We're gonna piss off the vegans. What vegans? Vegans aren't real. I, well, and also, um, vegan lives don't. Realistically, matter. it's not likely that one of your twenty-two subscribers is vegan. Thank God. You're welcome. If you're vegan, don't watch us. I don't. I mean, I'm not gonna say that. I mean, I I'm watch them clicks. I'm not gonna be exclusionary like that, but I am gonna say we're not vegans. We don't like. Well, not by. Children. Where are my other bass? I have a sea bass. We like chimkin nuggets. Yeah, mm. literally, that's what it is, swingers. Otherwise, we might as well be vegetarians. We um, like pepperonis. A pepperoni, and chicken. pepperoni, you bacon. Oh, oh okay. bacon. Those vegan. are mammals. I typically you're a mammal. I don't eat mammals very often. Although chicken. I did have bacon yesterday because my beloved ordered breakfast, and I said no chocolate in my pancake, and he was like, "Cool, that means you must want bacon." And I'm like, "Bro, I'm trying to avoid the reflux triggers. Bacon is, in fact, a reflux trigger, but." I opened up my pancakes and there was the bacon and you bet I goddamn ate it. <laughs> so what you My saying, mama told me not to waste food. So what you're saying is you actually have no self-control. No, I ate three out of the four pieces. The other piece I made Mr. Babesy. So Ooh. I know. I broke my fishing rod. I'm gonna actually, now craft a new one. You know what? Do 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 Sedora. is really good when it's done right though. Um, I've never had I feel like most people agree with that. Here's the thing. I've never had a steak I enjoyed. Yeah, because you don't want to go and pay $50 for one. No, that's why you make it yourself. Even when Chris makes steaks, I just kind of, they always kind of taste kind of bland to me. Yeah. What do you, does he season them? Chris knows how to make good food, so. Like, if Chris is making steak and I'm not a big fan of it, his steak, I'm probably just not a big fan of steak, Seth. Also, how do you get it done? However Chris cooked it. Chris is Your a brother. Uh, yeah, whatever. Someone's brother, Chris, is a food snob. I got a wharf roach. Has no peer. <laughs> I, I don't know. Because it was living on a rock. I know. The puns for when you catch critters are absolutely dreadful. And there's a pun for every single thing. Every single thing. Someone at Nintendo is a dad. For real. Um, I was going to show you guys around my island. And then I just started... Meandering. So, Toto, we already came up with the title of the first episode. It's Tire Swing Gaming Plays Animal Crossing. Why is plays in quotes? Because, because it's funnier that way. Because we're Neither not playing. Of, tire Swing Gaming is not even playing. I'm like an honorary Which is swinger. To God of yeah, first. you're, you're um, auxiliary Tire Swing Gaming. Yeah. Yes. You sit on the extra little tire swing thing off to the side. Yes, it's kind of too small for my tronky butt, but it's what I get because I'm not full time. <laughs> Anyway, friends. Yeah, you don't get benefits here. We so, don't give you health insurance. Let's pretend you have <laughs> flown via Dodo Airlines to see my little island. You would exit the airport here. Sansa, would you like a sour patch? Do kid? not feed that to my. I would like a sour patch adult. 
sweet French toast. French toast. Dimitri will take care of it. I have to clean that French toast litter box, so don't I you. thought you didn't like blue, Seth. You handed it to him. He, he asked for it. So we arrive at my island, and one hey, of the first French things toast. we see... Is um, a rock. A rock, it's yes. It's not just a boulder. It's, it's a, a rock. rock. The pioneers used to ride these babies for miles. So here's my store called Nook's Cranny. I think everyone has one of those. Yes, it is, but this is where mine is. I like your solar panels. Thanks, bud. Thanks. Um, and then if we go to the right, I have this fountain, and it's surrounded by, like... Lures. She smells the red, like bison. The red-yellow group <clears throat> floors, and then on the opposite side no. of the square or whatever... Blue! I have the blue, black, purple, red... Or Ribbiting. white. White flowers. And then this is Town Hall. Which everybody has. Everybody has, and is pretty much in the same location. And then I have my neighbors. This is Doby. He's been with us a while. I could fix that for you. This if you'd is like. Cherry's house. I've tried. This is <laughs> this is it's not like Doby. He's not my favorite. This is Cherry's house. She was one of the absolute first islanders when I like arrived on the island and Tom Nook was making me sleep so in a tent for outrageous prices. Could you just fence in Doby's house? Yes, but he'll still emerge. It's not The Sims. Yeah, but he won't be able to get out of the fence. No, he would. He don't. He would just spawn in like the town square. And are, this you is are you serial right now? Pretty sure. This is one of my new residence homes. This is um, Chops. Who? I don't know who that is. Um, we will look at the map, 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 oh, map. Oh, I'm the map. I'm the, the map, map. I'm the map. map. Dimitri, oh. um, edit that one out as well. Yep. Make sure that one was visual, Dimitri. Check, check the last episode and make sure it didn't show up at all either before. Yeah, on yeah, the map. There it is again, Dimitri. <laughs> what are we seeing? My name? Yeah. Uh, okay, that's my new friend T Bone. He's nice. not that great. <laughs> T Bone okay. and T Swizzle so, been on the same track. The, the the various islanders fall into different like. There's a bug. Yeah, it's a, it's gonna be the drone beetle. Yeah. Fall into various archetypes. This is my rose garden where you have see these stalls where I have these flowers and vases. Are they immortal? Yes, um, but I have them there. Because that's my Punnett square. If you put white and white together, eventually you get purple. If you put red and purple together, eventually you get pink. If you take that particular pink, because you can get pink different ways, and put it with yellow, you then get what is called a hybrid red. And then if you put hybrid reds together, you will get a blue rose, which I'm still struggling to get. I just saw a bug in that tree. Yeah, well, it's gone now. Can I uh, take the floor for a minute? Because I just found something out. Uh, Samsung has a new mascot or virtual assistant or whatever, and uh, her name is Sam. And within minutes of her existence, there was already well, porn. Yeah. Okay. So hold up. Speaking of that it's type. Isn't that of Rule Thirty Four? Yep. Yep. Speaking of that type of thing, me and my good friend Chris, hmm. friend of the channel. Where is this gonna go? We're actually. I. This is something I just talked to him about probably a month or so ago. I don't know if he'll remember, but a thought had occurred to me. All of, like, the phone assistants and, like, the map voices are girls now. Mm -hmm. They use, Like, some of them used to be guys. Siri's a girl. Sam's a girl. Cortana's I, a girl. Google Maps is a girl. I think Siri men. is supposed to be, like, non-binary and, like, a really universal name. So you can just assume whatever you want about Siri. Siri has a traditionally presenting feminine voice. Agreed. Not Siri that, sounds like a good girl. I don't also believe that there are any Fucking men who have ever been named Siri. Hermit crabs. Uh, Sethi? They've been named Hermit Crab before. Seth, <laughs> there have been guys named Cyril, which is like the same thing. Cyril, uh, Cyril Figgis. I what? do spreadsheets. Okay, I'm going to... Oh I'm my gonna... god, Sean is Cyril. Okay, so here's the thing. Sean How hasn't come killed Archer has never called him Cyril... Yeah, I know. Yeah. I think he has, actually. Has he? Probably. There's so many episodes to Archer. Yeah, and uh, Swingers, if you know, you know. All right. And it's unfortunate that you know. So I was showing you around my island, and I got sidetracked. Again. <laughs> bless you, Swingers. Pardon me. May the Lord bless and keep oh, you. Oh, speaking of Chris. This is Sky's house. Oh, here's Sky. Oh, she's one of my favorite 
favorite she's neighbors. She's like an old lady. You're like, she's like an old lady. A, that's her rain hat and her rain coat, which I probably gave to her. Okay. Oh, Sky, I don't want you to be lonely, my love. She's one of my you long should time. Offer to keep her bed warm. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Logan, you're furry. Um. So this. Well, I'm for not, even saying that well, is no, that, that's not how that works. Someone else's house. I can't think of his name right now. Uh, not Al. Fred. Hang on. Al Fredgerson. Um. Dimitri, prepare yourself to potentially edit out. Why are you always preparing? Just edit. Whatever. Dobie? Um, Louie! Oh, Louie, Louie. Louie was on my oh, island Louis. back when I lived in a tent and Tom Nook was charging me outrageous rent. This is the tomato looking bird. Um, Where's ketchup! <laughs> <laughs> Ketchup's house. Um, so, lady? I like. It has our own separate island. Yeah. Everyone has their own island, and if she were online right now, I could get in the Dodo's airplane and fly over to her and see her. Dodo, um, prepare for the ice age. age. So, on my island, I like to give everyone's home, like, a yard and some yard features. So, here's a bird bath and a gnome. This is Cole's house. Front yards are... Yards are bad for the environment, swingers. They are, if but I were however, you, I if you yard. want fossils... To generate, you have to have empty green spaces. Oh, present. Present for you. Present for me. Present for you. Um, you get a lot of repeat items this way, but they launched some new um, DIY stuff, so it might be that. Oh, 30,000 bells. That's more than double what you already had, so. Oh, actually, that's all that I have in my pockets. Let me go ahead and flex and show well, you okay, my sure little. Okay, account. hold up. Is 30,000 a lot? Not really. This is Cranston's house. He's a hot mess. I love him. Like, if you knock on his door and go say hi, he's like, hey, the bugs living in my floor told me they heard you arrive. And I'm like, Cranston, you messy bitch. Um, okay. These are my various fruit trees. Who's this? This is Elise. This is Elise. She's very snooty. She looks snooty. Yeah, so the different, there are different, like, kind of character types, and they d have different personality traits and stuff there's the snooty and stuff and when you visit someone in their home you often find them her umbrella is clipping in the back of her head that's great oh my god the <laughs> oh my god that's some phineas gage shit is that the guy who had a railroad spike go through his head yes yeah, and he lived um, and he lived amazing case study for behavioral sciences wasn't most of that greatly exaggerated though uh, uh -uh. the he lived no, oh. not the living part, but the behavioral changes. No. There were, like, none, I thought. No, there were... He got mean, if I recall correctly. I, I don't remember. Swingers, you can Google him. It yeah. went through his frontal lobe, which is where your personality lives. Not, well, Allegedly. not because he doesn't have one. Oh. Allegedly, he became an asshole, just like Logan. So, <laughs> oh my god, so, Sethi, if we drive, like, a tire iron through your brain dealer... Well, Will that's you the most likely thing to go through my brain at this point. Would you turn into Logan? Probably. I'm holding Sethi's tiny head. <laughs> like a basketball. Like I'm palming but it. But swingers, he would still be shorter and less handsome than me. Uh, you're a solid, like, 10,000. Well, so Logan I'm is... I'm a solid six. ...perhaps all of an inch taller than Sethi. Oh, uh, it's like... All, probably closer to Guys, two inches. I, I, if I understand where the commas are, that's three million bells. If you understand where the commas are, you would be correct. Like, when someone tells me a number, if they tell me 1,400, I have to sit for a minute and be like, where does the comma go? Because I don't know why I get 1,000 and 10,000 as, like, the units mixed up often. I have to kind of... Um, Are you have and dumb? I do, in fact, have cognitive deficits, you asshole. That's not what he asked at that all. That is not what I asked at all. But you yes. know who else had cognitive deficits? The guy in Rain Man. Phineas like, Gage. He wasn't dumb. You can be smart and have cognitive deficits, Toto. In fact, lots of smart people have them. Um, Why are you gatekeeping being stupid? Yeah. <laughs> Why are Dick. you gatekeeping being stupid? Fair question. <laughs> Anyways, your islanders have different personality types. There's so snooty, there's messy, there's athletic. And when you visit them oh, in God, their I homes... Oh, lips. Yeah. Is all of those. Lucky shouldn't even have lips. Uh, Not like that. When you visit them in their homes, you will occasionally come across them doing DIY projects. and Do it yourself. Like Rage Shadow Legends. Logan did a fat, fat motion. I did. Roll it was your, funny. Roll your eyes with me, swingers. Or laugh. It was funny. It was kind of funny. Um, I didn't watch, though. 
I saw an ad for Raid she Shadow Legends nice. and I had to mention mm -hmm. it. I'm kind of bored of her, but she is a good neighbor. Like a good neighbor, stay over there. Dimitri, make sure State Farm is in other states. Yeah, it's a national brand, Dingus. And why is it called State Farm? Why are you called State Farm? I'm not. Uh. But even Anyways, the different personalities do different craft things. So, like, there are lines of craft items. Like, there's the the rough hewn wood ones, and then there's the like seasonal ones and stuff. And your different personality types work on different DIYs. And I need fancy bitches to come live on my island so I can get my hands on these motherfucking ironwood projects like i need an ironwood dresser in order to make the ironwood cupboard but ironwood items are only made by the snooty sort of people like elise and elise ain't fucking making this shit and, and she won't fucking leave my island you can go talk to isabelle and be like hey i don't really like so and so but it doesn't it's, it's not a guarantee that they'll get kicked off your island you can visit um, like uninhabited islands, and if someone's camping there, you can be like, dude, you should come to my boat. island. Yeah, this guy is an art seller and a fiend. By the way, Toto, speaking of trying to get other people, this is why this is the exact reason God invented eviction notices evict all the poor people to bring in the snooties. Yeah. So, oh, the, yeah, right. Logan also likes yeah. his high horse. Um, so he sells art. <laughs> And a lot of it is fake. Let's go ahead and look at this one. They call it anatomical painting, I think. Academic painting. That's the one like Galileo did or something. Yeah, that's the Vesuvian man, if I recall correctly. Some dude shoved a light bulb up his ass. <laughs> Anyways, okay. so like... Wait, did they not censor out the peepee? -pee? Not particularly. The huh. thing is, that, this guy... A Dimitri censor that. <laughs> Blur out the peepee. -pee. For all the adults watching. Like, it's kind of censored, but not fully. I mean, you get a vague sense of genitals there. But, so he sells fake art. And this one, for instance, is fake. Because Da Vinci didn't, in fact, leave, like, a ring from his coffee cup at the top of this. Ah, oh, it's like that one episode of the Bat, like, old Batman. Can I try one? Yeah. I'm Where not gonna like it, but I'm gonna Batman eat it. Batman found a counterfeit bill, and Robin wanted to ask how Batman knew it was counterfeit, and Robert, Batman said, it's a perfect counterfeit, except for one detail. Abraham Lincoln never wore a turtleneck. <laughs> That's amazing. Anyways. I mean, he never wore a helmet either, and look what happened to him. Oftentimes, <laughs> the differences are more subtle. Um, and you get people who will come, this is at the campsite, and strangers will come camp on your island, and you can go talk to them. And if you talk to them like twice, during their stay, they're, to talk to my pimp pimp. they're pretty likely to come live on your island. Occasionally, your islanders will walk up to you and be like, man, I'm ready for a change. I was thinking of moving away. And you can say, wow, what an adventure. Or, no, don't go. Which took me a while to figure out. Um, but speaking of Abraham Lincoln, Swingers, if you haven't watched Invincible... It's not that good, but <laughs> the immortal said, "You know, immortal from Invincible, right?" I know he He's is immortal. canonically Abraham Lincoln. What really? Yep. So how is he? How does he continue to not die? He's immortal. What wing of my museum would you like to see? Um, we'll talk about that next, next episode <laughs> on Tire Swing Gaming. <laughs>